This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 12th of July, Wednesday. This is the Tiger Financial News Network market update at 10 a.m. We're looking at 34,526, up 263 on the economic news that the markets seem to like very much. A little deflation there. Uh, we're up 260. We just failed to get above the 34,588 high of the 16th. We went to 34,586.94. It's amazing. These little potential little double top patterns. Let me just have a look at the, the e mini futures. Yep, it's just a rectangle formation. It needs to hold. Uh, if there is a slice to the downside in the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes below uh, 4505, then we might have made some kind of a very short-term top here. But in the meantime, the 9 p.m. moving average is holding very well above the 14. We'll see what happens. Look, you've got the S&P. <clears throat> the Dow is up 0.79%. The S&P is up 0.97%, up 43 at 4482.97. 4, 4, it's gone above the previous highs. Is this a leg E to the upside? And what is this in the weekly chart? Is that a G? Well, at this particular point, it really, with an instant restart, it could be a G slash C, the nine period moving average. All the technicals are actually very good. So all I can say is price is the arbiter of the trend. And what we're looking at is if in the next week, give it all the way through to the uh, uh, week from Friday, if there is a close under 42.86, and that's going to say, okay, short-term consolidation. But in the meantime, We've been kind of consolidating with a high-level consolidation with high, slightly higher highs. And now we're going to see the big test over the next few days. Can this hold? And that's going to be the key. You're looking at the QQQ, 372.85 was the high on the 16th of June, around about the 16th. And today's high is 373.31, a breakout. And that becomes your leg D that we've been waiting for to the exact week on the left side, right side price time match. I'll talk about that when we get back. Let me just say gold is a really strong move to the upside. It's continuing up. It's at up 21 as the dollar pulls back even sharper dollars at the testing i'll be back in a moment for the target traditions hour check out both people they just said it a lot to discuss <laughs> 